Spooky. Oh. 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 So, how how are y'all doing in uh, for Spooky Month? Ha have you had a spook yet? Saying I deserve special exclusion VIP treatment from you, I. Certified simps. You know what's really scary is a uh, copyright claim on 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 your videos. Ooh, spooky. <laughs> I've been out for a while. What mods are we applying to Library of Ruina? Um, I'm a ten has recommended me a mod that basically cuts out uh, any kind of minimal grinding that is in Li Library of Ruina. Um, there isn't much, but uh, occasionally you have to, if you want to get, like, some key pages from certain characters, their drop rate is not, zero, uh, like, 100%, so you have to fight them a couple of times. So, seeing as this is already a very long game, um, installing a mod that gives you 100% drop rate on all key pages seems like a good idea. Cruelty Squad's p look spooked me. Most horrific thing I saw is that Tim Hortons video. <laughs> Yo. Yo, that, uh, that Tim Hortons video is pretty good, right? I am proud of that one. Did I drop that in October? Is that is that technically an October video? Let me have a quick look. I didn't mean for that to be a, a spooky video, but I guess it was. Because, uh, you know, who who's to say what kind of channel this could become? It could become a Roblox channel. I did drop that video in... Man, YouTube's interface is really bad. <laughs> Just tell me the month that I uh, pooed this out onto YouTube. Onto YouTube, you poop. Uh, analytics. I'm actually gonna have to go to the video and hear my voice for 0 0.5 seconds, aren't I? No, I don't want to hear my own voice. God damn it. No. It still won't tell me when. Okay, October 3rd. It did drop out on uh, into the toilet of YouTube. October 3rd. Roblox is better than Minecraft, which is better than Vintage Story. Wow. You know what's really spooky is hot takes. Fix your tags? What are my tags right now? You mean for the stream or for Roblox? By the way, why Roblox? Because there was a Tim Hortons abo course. I had to do it. Kind of had my strategies flop because I didn't grind some pages and you can't go back and grind at the end of the game. Oh. I legit had to look for other Roblox videos on your channel thinking I had missed the series. There's no series. Remember to swap to live chat. Yes, remember that. Wait, do I have to do this? I don't think I have to do any of these, do I? Okay. Oh, no, I do. Okay. Alright, here we go. Hashtag Tim Hortons. Um, does Roland have his uh, Mars page? Yes, he does. Okay, good. Walter's page, Walter's page. Chat is broken. Hashtag Time Hortons. <laughs> You know, the fact that I didn't realize that it was broken, but the fact that it is broken is really good. No Ro Roblox series, why? Do you want a Roblox series? Really? I can't listen. You can only... I, I have a cooldown rate on my irony meter. You know, I can only do so much irony, and then eventually um, I need to recharge my irony meter. Bing, bing, bing. Okay, hold on. I need to see where where are the things there. Okay, there we go. Um, 
Let's do a gut harvesting. We're just going to be playing a little bit of Library of Ruina. Then we're going to do some spooky stuff. Um, content warning on Library of Ruina. I have not been very good about um, warning y'all about that. Um, I know that most of you in chat already know that, but um, in case anyone is in chat that doesn't know uh, content warning on this game, it, it gets pretty uh, nasty, pretty gory, pretty gruesome. Um, and also content warning because I'm bad at this game and, you know, it would be interesting for four, for sure. You, you'd, you'd really want a Roblox series. I used to, I did play a very minute amount of Roblox back in the day. Way back in the day. I was just trying to make people angry, Bimple. I think Vintage Story is best. The, um... The, like I say, the spookiest thing is actually hot takes. So this is going to be a stream filled to the brim with hot takes. That's right. He's done it. He's he's finally done it. He we're we're gonna. This is going to be a hot take channel now. I'm gonna I'm gonna make some clickbait videos, talking about stuff I don't understand, making all kinds of generalized claims that have no bearing in reality. And they're all going to sp be spicy. Even the people who are already spicy, they're not going to agree with me. They're going to click the video thinking that I'm part of their echo chamber, and then I'm going to say stuff that is, like, slightly askew and set them off. The world be will be set um, slightly a kilter-skilter. People will be a little bit annoyed that they found my video. Everyone will be slightly on edge, and then uh, spontaneously uh, riots will break out. They won't, they won't realize why, but it was because of Bimple's videos. He did this. He, he turned Halloween into, uh, what's that movie? The Purge. <laughs> It'll be The Porge. <laughs> oh my god, it's The Porge. Everyone's slightly a nerd. <laughs> did we do a mole office? Do we do mole office like that discard deck best girl 31 hour hangover train trouble temp? Yes, we started that. We did start that. Bimple needs to make a Roblox server for his fans. A hashtag simple squads. Uh, I mean, I do kind of want to do some online stuff with with uh, Bimple, Bimple fans. It would be fun. Especially for, <laughs> for the coffee subscribers, which uh, there have been new ones and I, I appreciate y'all. I appreciate y'all. Muchly. Thank you all very much, everyone, for uh, who is part of the um, coffee. That, that is like super awesome. Thank you so much. Um, I need to say that I need you to say that in English again. No. Ah, oh, they they very close, nearly got staggered, but they didn't. Oh, they're they're staggered. Nice. Ouch. Um, so I'm very much smooth braiding this at this point. Um, I'm not, I'm not really paying attention to, uh, re resistances anymore. Uh, we're just kinda, we're, we're just kinda bumbling along. And that's fine. So long as I can, you know, uh, defeat the, the gangs of, uh, of ba the backstreets, the backstreet boys, boyos, then we're, we should be fine, you know? I could do some Roblox today, I still have it installed. Oh no. Staggered, yes. Kill them. Last Ruin of Stream, I was talking about Jimmy Neutron using his robot dog as a Hulk Buster Iron Man suit, which is canon to this universe. Um, let's just do defensive dice. Clearly missed some gold. So they are staggered. Um, okay, what, what's the button? Is it F2 or something? F? What's the button to automatically assign everything? Tab? Alt? Z? 1? 2? No, that's... I need those buttons. Um, Q? E? What's the button? Caps lock? Control? V? Space? Nope, that's not it. 
I think I accidentally turned off. Oh, I, I actually completely bungled that. They were like ready to die. It's P. Why is it P? Yo, I'm sorry to be annoyed in, like with this game, but like, why is it P? That's dumb. What? <laughs> Make it a better button. That's my first spicy take of the day. That's a bad button to make that. Also, okay, quick mode off. Oh, I see it's Q. I, I press Q for sure. All right, we did it. Big, if you have the time to play a voxel-based game, I hope you play Vintage Story so you can prove you can survive starting, starving to death in the first in-game week. Um, I definitely did um, stave off st starving. I probably died to other things, but uh, I, I think I, I did not. I never starved until basically the winter time when I ran out of food completely. Progress. <laughs> Wait. Oh, did I not do this properly? Burn them book, the mole books. Oh, okay, I'll do that as soon as we're done with this one. Okay, so we're fighting Olga. Hey guys, have you ever had a, a weird dream where you turn into a pumpkin? I've been having that dream lately and it's been um, kind of wearing on me. There we go. Burn them mole books. Alright, I'll, I'll burn them mole books after we beat the... Uh, we beat best girl! Aww. Oni Chan! Ugh. <laughs> Ugh. It hurt to do that. Alright, how, how are we doing? We did pretty good there. Uh, like... Like, Vor, why why have you invoked that word into my chat, Neville? Too much pumpkin spice. Yeah, I think that's what it is. I've been, uh, I've been drinking too much pumpkin spice Tim Hortons coffee. And, um, it's doing stuff to me, guys. Um, I've been, uh, having these weird dreams where I turn into a pumpkin. It hurt the audience as well. Well, it's spooky month, so, you know, we gotta. You know, being spooked isn't just about jump scares. I know you would like that to be the case, but it's not. Sometimes it's about feeling uncomfy. It's not even just about the creepy feeling you get when you're in a room with someone and you share nothing in common with them. And they ask you a question and you don't know how to answer because you don't you don't really like them. You're not even sure you like them. And they ask you, they ask you like what you're doing for work and you don't know how to tell them that you're a, some kind of pog streamer. Worse, worse still, you're a VTube pog streamer and you, you play Roblox in your off time. So you don't know what to tell them. You, you, so you make something up. You say something like, oh, I'm a graphic designer. Because you did have to make some graphics for your stream, so technically that counts. And you tell them, I'm a graphic designer, and they say, oh, cool, that's cool, what have you done? What kind of graphics do you do? Uh, I, uh, I design logos for uh, very big companies. Oh yeah, what, what companies have you designed logos for? Uh, um, uh, um... Oh no, I'm a pumpkin! Oh no, it's happening again! Guys, I'm, I'm a pumpkin. How long will stream be tonight? Stream will be... Uh... Uh, it, the usual time, 5 o'clock, my time, so 5 hours from now. Um, alright, we're gonna burn some books. <laughs> Bimpkin! <laughs> Yo, it's Bimpkin. 
Are these the are these the mole books? I'm a tan. I don't want to burn too many of them. I'll keep like two of each. Right. Can't relate. I always go into so much detail as to make my opponent squeam and discom discomfort. The best defense is a good attack. Bimkin is real. Um, are you saying, Neville, but that you are actually, uh, that, that's like your Halloween costume is uh, Chatterbox. You go in wearing your, your best suit and you say, and they, you say, do you want to know what I do for work? And they say, uh, excuse me, what are you doing in my house? It's, uh, the, the, the transformation is complete. Uh, spooky bimple stream is, is officially a thing. Um, I'm a tan. Do I want to use Olga's page? And if so, on who? I, 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 I noticed I got Olga's page. She seems to only have one dice. Am I wrong about that? Dice, um, dice, sorry, speed dice slot plus one cannot overlap. At the end of each scene, restore one light and draw one page if the hand is empty. Discard deck, times three wait up, times three gamble, and times three daring decision. Um, all right, I'm gonna, I'm gonna switch to Olga's page. I'm a 10, you're getting Olga's page. Is this a discard? Am I making a discard deck? Times three, wait up. Where's wait up? I have to look for each of these pages, unfortunately. I love the PNG hat. Look at, I like how it shapes too. Thank you. Bumpkin drank uh, one of those two liter monster bottles prior to stream. Monster pumpkin spice energy drink. Sad that I'm late. No, no worries. Don't, don't you worry. Okay, times two, times three, wait up. Uh, times three, gamble. Where's gamble? Gamble and daring decision. I'm looking for gamble and daring decision. Do, do, do. Oh, there it is, gamble. And then we need daring decision. Where is that? Do do do. Oh, there it is. There we go. Andy the Rhino pages. This game is such a weird sequel to Mist. <laughs> yeah, I know, right? Why do we have to do this again? Is this uh like am I done over here? It seems to me I'm not able to, to do, like, what, what's going on? Is it, why is there no, like, part two here? I love the theme. Welcome, Andrino. Yo, Bimple, loved your new small Bimple. S new small Bimple? What do you mean? Small Bimple? Alright, we're gonna do this one over here. How about that? You can sort pages by game chapters you got. You gotta scroll out. I already did this one, right? Guys, I, I gotta admit, I don't know what I'm doing anymore. If, if the chat doesn't work anymore, can we remove it this stream? Oh, is the chat not working? Oh, hold on a second. Thank you for letting me know. It's because I didn't update it. There you go. Yo, 
You have an invitation to the left. Okay, uh, so I, got, I do have to do that invitation first. You're talking about the screen. Oh, my, my, my mini pumpkin son. Don't speak to me or my pumpkin son ever again. It has been uh, christened Bumpkin. It is Bumpkin. Bimpkin. B Bumpkin works too. Need some beating. Get it into your thin skull. That's enough, Geo and me. Beating them to death won't do us any good. Have I already read this? District 22 might be our turf, but these chumps you're beating to a pulp may be from Zvaya Sector 6, but we're talking about an association here. Bumpkin is nice. We're gonna be in even bigger trouble if you kill them all. Walter. It, if only that bastard kept his promise, we wouldn't have gotten into this mess. We needed the floor plan of El Corp's Nest. You have to beat all invitations to advance up a tier? Okay. Had it. We should teach these nice people a lesson on how important it is to keep promises. Night will fall soon. Oh, I already read this? Okay. Sorry, guys, it's been a couple of weeks. My apologies. Bumpkin uh, apologizes. Um, so have y'all been? Uh, I, I saw most of y'all last Thursday. I had a makeup stream because um, I wasn't here Tuesday. A makeup stream, uh, of course, is what you do. Um, you just kind of make out with a pumpkin the whole stream. Talking, talking about Pumpkin Sun, have you guys watched Cyberpunk Netflix series? Really hyped me for the game again. I'm amazed. I'm amazed. You know what my hot take is about Cyberpunk? Is I haven't played it, and I'm not going to. <laughs> and I'm not watching the series either. I bet you it's good. I bet you it's really good, but let me let me tell you a, a bit about myself. Is I'm um I'm a I'm a I'm a I'm a cranky old man, and sometimes I just don't wanna <laughs> like I don't know you know like I didn't watch um was it Love Death and Robots? I know that the Netflix series isn't an anthology series, but something about it just says anthology series to me. It kind of reeks of, like, um, the Animatrix to me, a little bit. And, you know, sometimes I'm, I'm down for- I'm down to clown with some kind of, uh, out of nowhere, out of- out of the- the- the, you know, Bleacher's kinda new show to- to watch. Um, but I'm not super attached to the cyberpunk universe. And, um, I just kinda, like, I don't know, cyberpunk has- it's- it's kind of burning me out a little bit. What I mean by that is, like, the- the game came out, and for some reason there's this weird divide of people who are diehard fans, want, you know, want people to know that it's actually a very good game, um, despite the fact that it's a broken mess, and, uh, insist on letting everyone know about it, and in that sense it's become kind of an undertale. You know what I mean by that? It's like a game that might be good, but um, the the fan base, such as it is, is kind of ruining it. I'm not saying I would necessarily allow a fan base to ruin uh, a series or game for me, but I will say that it does create barriers for entry. Space plus P gaming. We're doing that, I'm a tan, because this is we're, we're conversing. Oh, this is the, this is the, don't worry. I'm gonna read everything and we're gonna succeed at every battle. If at any point I feel like I'm not winning these battles, then I will actually pay attention and, and play as per proper. Um, but, you know, I'm sorry to say that uh, right now it's, it's, it's gonna be smooth brain gaming for now. Smooth braining. Here's my spicy take. CD Projekt Red is massively overrated. Witcher 3 and Cyberpunk 2077 are both just okay. Well, that's weird. I mean, like, you, you grouped two vastly different games there. Um, I have tried very hard to play and enjoy Cy uh, Witcher, 
the Witcher series. I played the second one and I've played the third one, and I'm sure that they have excellent stories. But I can't get into them because holy god, I cannot stand that gameplay. I don't understand. I honestly don't know how people can, like, get through the hump of... Good lord, this combat is awful. Like, just like, it, it's such a wall. It hits me every single time I play the Witcher series. I'm like, how how do people enjoy the story? I Every time I... Like, every time people stop talking and the, the cutscenes end, I have to play this game, and it's awful. It really... That's my second spicy take of the day. And maybe those games are amazing. They, they probably are. But I just can't play them. <laughs> and I know they have, like, story modes, so you don't necessarily have to... Um, do the combat but I just like I'm I can't I don't have that I don't have it in me to do that did you watch Final Space it's amazing my favorite cartoon ever I have been wanting meaning to play or, or watch Final Space I have heard it. it is it is actually very good it's been a couple weeks did big not play Ryan, library of ruin it was while I wasn't here um, I did not play it last week because I was still in Vancouver in Thursday stream, um, Imatan was not around and I didn't really want to continue any of my mainstay series because uh, I wasn't sure that people would be able to show up and so they'd you know miss out on the, the game that they actually like to watch me play. So it seemed um, kinder and respectful to, to just, you know, dirtle around. So I played The Raft, which uh, I, ha I almost had a good time with The Raft. And then, um, and then I died to some random bird and lost everything, and I decided I don't like the raft anymore. <laughs> it's pretty damn nice, even if you never played or never will play Cyberpunk. I've heard good things about the show. I'm not saying anything bad about the show. I'm just saying I don't I don't know how people are getting hyped about the game because of the show, because the game hasn't really changed demonstrably. So, I, you know, it's just still, still the game. I love the art direction and liked Blade Runner. I think it's an un underexplored genre. You took a break and went on vacation and streamed that Thursday. Daring Decision is the best three cost card at this stage of the game. The Witcher books are good, might want to read them instead. I have watched the, the Witcher show. To listen to your silly chirping, I, I, I skipped some dialogue here. To deal with the things those guests say, I mean. A lot of them don't hesitate to spout, spout harsh words at you. I'm surprised you can withstand it at all. There are precious guests we invited, so it's only fair to treat them as such. Besides, I'm already used to keeping others fa uh, pleased in conversation. I envy that professionalism of yours. Maybe you should give a lecture on hospitality to all the Korean, sorry, Korean, all the restaurant owners in the back street someday. They could really learn a thing or two from you. I was just thinking in my head, I actually really like the Korean language. Like, it sounds very pleasant to me. Um, it's It's got, got a really kind of nice like choppy sound to it that i appreciate so uh, of course i i uh you know i was thinking korean and then my, my mouth hole said korean but still it'll probably be a lot easier on you to be more flexible with greeting guests rather than sticking to the same polite polite attitude i'll take note of that the witcher books are good wow that was spicy negative seven dollars damn no, my small pizza. Where are we at with that joke? Oh my god. This is uh this is kind of wild. Library grade must reach 15. Okay. How do we do that? I don't even know what level our library is. And no one, uh, no one seems to have, um... Oh, what is this? Complete a reception using only pages whose costs are odd numbers. So, I, I could complete this. I have to complete this. Oh, man. This is a really... This is an annoying one, isn't it? Um, why don't we switch around HOD and BOT? So that they have um, only odd co uh, costing things. We'll just like throw in. You know what? 
here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna do this. I'm gonna give them, I'm only gonna give them infinity ones, or I guess high number ones. We'll do like guardian and uh, I need a three cost one, some three cost ones. We'll do some of these. Uh, do this and you level up. There is two unique side invitations if you use three books of Stray Dogs or three books of Mole Office, but they are not worth it. Okay. Um, so then let's do Bot. Bot, you need to get rid of your two cost ones. And then um, take a couple of these. Actually, we want more one cost ones. Let's take these. Um, we need um, more, some more one cost ones. Here we go, Guardian, perfect. Actually, we can take a couple of the other ones and put in some more Guardians. And then I'm basically going to, we're just gonna do a, like a really easy um, floor with Hod. So we'll do like this. Invite with books of each member of Mole Office. Okay. Um, this one. These are the mole office, right? He sneaked in another message before, but my brain purged, merged Nexus profile picture with eyes. Level 13 in the top left corner and homepage. You have to complete missions, I see. Snuck, sneaked. So is this a is this correct? Yeah. Um. Well, the problem is, is I was gonna do uh, I was gonna use the this team, and I've given them very bad cards, like really bad cards. I gave them bad cards with the intention of. Um. Hmm. Okay, you know what we could do is we could use uh, Team Roland. I'll just only use, um, oh, I guess I have to use Hod, Team Hod, don't I? All right, we'll, we'll try it. I don't think it's gonna work out, but we'll try it. I was just gonna fight Team Rats, so it was like a really easy one. Uh, this is This is gonna be bad. Yeah, I'm not even gonna finish this. I'm not even. I'm not gonna spend uh, another second on that. I'm gonna follow my plan A, and we're gonna fight Team Rats. Like just a really, really easy invitation. Um, we're gonna just do like Book of Something. There we go. Send invitation. You don't have to use Hod. You don't have to use Hod. Oh crap. You don't have to use Hod. Damn it. I thought you had to use Hod. <laughs> All right, fine. Uh, we'll, we'll, you, we'll do this small again. Axe Gang, and we're gonna use Team Roland, and I'll try to, to keep two odd costing cards. It's legit also. Well, we'll do this, it's fine. But I, I, I guess I have to not smooth brain this now. Curse you, I'm a tan, for making me not smooth brain things. Gamble. I guess I, there's, you know, I don't have to not use both attacks, right? Problem with that is um, if I use up all of my attacks, then I won't have any. <laughs> Let's just do this. Oh, wow. That didn't go well at all.
Okay, that was a little bit n not good. It looks different, not gonna lie. Spicy Korean bean paste. Tom Yam seems nice. I love the chicken one. Lobster flavor. What is hap- Oh, uh, favorite cup noodle flavors. Okay, I gotcha. Okay, so I can't actually attack with some of these guys now. So I just kind of have to let them take attacks. Stop missing. Stagger them, please. That's why I love discard decks, because you don't need cards if you throw them in your enemy's face. So I can't use anything uh, with Roland. I can use um, Imatan, but things are not going well right now. Do you, you do, do we draw each turn? I actually don't remember, like, basic stuff. Uh, we don't want that. After three successful attacks on the same target. Okay, we can do that. Okay, we can, we can do, we'll, we'll kill this lad. We have Gamble, so we can... Let's just make sure that this person's dead. Nice. Almost, almost, uh, staggered. I enjoy spicy food so long as it's flavorful. Same. I don't like, um, spice for the, sa for the sake of spice. I like, uh, you know... <laughs> I like reasonable takes that have substance. Okay, this should work out. Staggered. Dead. Nice. So they're staggered. We should be good to, to kill them now. Guardian, Guardian, Bear, Daring Decision, there we go. I'm assuming zero does not count as an odd number. Oh, is there, is, is there a second stage? Oh no. All right, more of this then. Um, retaliate. We can actually do three, uh, two three cost ones. It's gonna be expensive, but we can do it. We'll do uh, gut guardian and gut harvesting. And gamble. And daring decision. Ouch. Ouch. Stop it. Nice. Almost staggered. Almost staggered. Not bad. Pretty good. Nice, nice. Um, we could do we could do a fervent. I think this is the last one we're gonna do. We, we might as well use a uh, Roland. We'll use Roland. Roland's gonna die. It's fine. Nine. Oh my god. Uh, we can only afford guardian. And we can do... Oh, we can do two with this one. Gamble and Daring Decision. Roland is 
absolutely destroying that lad, as they should. Come on, stagger. Yeah, nice. A kill. Nice. What's next? Hob, Abno fight? Yes. Okay, we can't afford anything there, so... Oh, and <laughs> Roland has no attacks he can use. So we gotta do everything with Imatan. Imatan, we're gonna ensure that this person is dead. And I'm glad I used both attacks there because I, they wouldn't have been enough otherwise. Roland's gonna die at the end of this one, so let's hope he drew something he can use, and he did. Gamble. Um, we can use Guardian. We'll do that. This will be good. Ooh, ho, ho, ho. Roland, tear them up. Nice. I have this spicy schnapps that I serve my uh, enemy. I mean, good friends. It's so spicy. People get bodily hallucinations from it, like blackouts, heat waves, loss of balance, fun stuff. Um, I used to have a friend who would serve their uh, concoctions. <laughs> they would like put stuff in alcohol and uh, they thought it was like very good. And uh, they, they, put a, they put an illicit in, in one of their rum beverages and it was definitely one of the most foul things I've ever tasted. The, just so you know, the name of this beverage they had made um, was Green Dragon. So please try and imagine what kind of illicit they could put in a rum that would justify the name Green Dragon. Um, and uh, yeah, it was it was pretty awful. It was like really not good. One of the worst things I've ever had. Um, okay, so let's just give them some good pages. We don't have to overcomplicate this. Alright, Imatan, what kind of deck are you recommending? Lowland. I just eat it like a pickle, bite off the food, bite off the jalapeno. Jalapeno? And I read the, read the vinegar ones, I think the... There's a, why is Simkin shaking? Because it's spooky month. Concoctions. Well, good luck. Thank you. <laughs> uh, I'm not really sure what I'm, what I should be looking at here. What I should be giving them. So I'm gonna go with my. Um, Deal three damage to self. I uh, probably shouldn't equip that. Retaliate is good. It's been a while, so I don't remember what is like really good. Fun fact, I had a friend that spent 27 years of their life thinking they were allergic to spicy food because every time they ate spicy food, their mouth would burn. Burn stray dogs gang. Burn the book, okay. Looking for stray dogs. I am sure I've already passed it. Oh, here we go. Belize. Um, so one of the funniest things that happened on my vacation was uh, me and my partner uh, got into a, an Uber and the Uber driver was not wearing a mask. And uh, for those of you who wonder why I would even bring it up, it's because I care. Um, and so I didn't want to ask them to put their mask on. Instead, I asked them if I could put open the window. We were on the highway. I was like, I, I don't want to open it a lot, just a little, just enough to create some air circulation, you know. And uh, and they were like, uh, and this is gonna sound sound bad. Um, I don't mean it to be, but I'm trying to do an authentic impersonation of, of their, of what they said, but they said, No, sir, please! No! Because <laughs> we were on the highway, like, we're on the highway, no, please! <laughs> and the desperation in their voice, as they said that, um, was possibly the funniest thing ever. Burn the members, also burn 
them all. I don't want to burn them all because then what if I need some to do stuff? <laughs> anyway, um, I was pretty much quoting that the entire trip because it was really funny to me. Just the desperation in their voice as they said, No, sir, please. Do not. All right, loosen up. We got some stuff. Got a lot of pages here. Good stuff. Um, <laughs> that guy's voice is still in my head. <laughs> no. All right, I've burned pretty much everything except this grade nine fixer. Do should I be? Burn the stray dogs characters, hello. I thought I didn't I thought I needed some of these. Uh I'm not sure what I should be burning. Oh my god. <laughs> I'm a ten is having a conniption fit. Look at all the pages I got. Look at all them key pages I got. This is pretty good key pages, right? <laughs> Burn all the members, not all books. Okay, so like Book of Olga, Book of Rain, Book of Mika, but keep these. Gotcha, all right. Burn these. Book of Julia keep these. I have a lot of Zweisau Section 6 books. We can burn some of those. I Here's what I wish about this game. A slight change. I, I kind of wish it would just automatically do this. Like, I don't see the benefit in giving the player choice over what gets burned. Just, like, keep one page that you use to do the next mission and that doesn't get used up. And then, and then burnt, like, everything else is just gotcha town. Book of San. We'll keep these. Book of Lulu. Book of Mars. Look how many Mars books I have. Book of Jack. Book of Pierre. No, ah, uh, oh no, I'm dead. <laughs> what is it? What's happening? It's spooky stream, so this is uh, is this is good. Burn it all. All right. There you go. Some of these molar. Uh, yeah, those. Um, these. I'm just kidding. I'm not gonna actually do that. Okay, now let's uh, let's fix up Hod and um, and Bot. Are these any better than what they currently have? Four and five versus two and five. Slash damage, pierce damage. These seem like they could be better. I just asked to burn all the buff dudes from Stray Dogs gang, not all the books from Molar also. Now you need to do both Stray Dogs and Molar. <laughs> I only I only burned the uh, the character pages though. I'm a tan. I uh, I thought that that was the you could burn the characters, not just not the uh, class. What's what about Hod's bod? <laughs> this is gonna be a very good stream. So these guys benefit from slash damage now, so let's put in a lot of slash damage. I like, uh, I like Guardian. Let's give them both Guardian. Guardian is good. Um, Gamble seems good. Discard a page with the lowest cost. Could do that. Overpower seems good. On hit, inflict two bleed next scene. That seems good. 
Um, oh, a mutilate. Mutilate is good. We don't have a lot of mutilate, though. Brimp a spoop. You need character pages the most. Oh. Oh, I see. So what you're saying is, uh, I have fatally errored. Is that what you're saying, Imatan? I'm a tan. I don't understand why you didn't just like um, climb inside my brain and pilot me like a mech, so that I could uh, I would not I would know not to do the thing that I just did and ruined everything. Right? I'll fudge first time in Subnautica, Bimple. Um, Subnautica is going to be this Thursday. There's going to be some uh, spook this today, but uh, Subnautica and uh, Pathologic 2 are going to be Thursday. Subnautica is still happening Thursday, first segment. Yes, correct. Okay, let me, let me read these guys. On hit, inflict two bleed, so they inflict bleed. Attracted prioritizes targets with bleed. So this guy inflicts bleed, this guy prioritizes characters to bleed. Gotcha. Alright, so that wasn't good. None of that was good, actually. Block, dice, gain, plus one, one, two, power, deal of two, plus two to seven stagger damage on a deflect. Well, we don't really have much deflect, do we? Can we undo that? No, I'm stuck with this now. Okay. I will be here and I will be intoxicated. <laughs> that is not a requirement. Mutilate on hit recover some HP. Ouch. Ah uh, yes, the boss of this floor, Wiki Feet. They do have some strange looking feet. Um, I seem to have not done basically any damage to them. What are they weak to? Oh, I see. They're... They, they're strong against slashing, which is the only thing I gave these guys. You know what? I, I love it when th that happens. <laughs> um, that's always fun. So let's give them pin and um, we'll give them pin and bash. What's a good pin and bash? Let's see, pin and bash. There's a good pin. We need pin and bash though. Here's bash. Give one endurance. I like this one. Discard a page. Well, okay, fierce onslaught is still good. Two pen. Um, there's a pen and bash, but is it very good? No, not really. Pen and deflect. Those are good because we need to deflect some damage. Here's a pen and bash. Blow it up. Stray dogs use lots of bash. Can I search by? Who uses it? Here, here's a good one. Has some bash. Inflicts paralysis. Um, here's a good one. Deflect and bash. That one should be good. And um, this one. No, no, no. Here we go. Oh, well, fierce onslaught. I've already got some. We'll do stay calm. Draw a page upon discarding this page. That sounds good. It also combos with one of these other no it doesn't never mind everything is easier while drinking you can sort pages look below combat pages key pages librarian info okay book of the red shoes okay so we should um why do we still have lots of slash i guess i gave that to them okay and Inf inflict paralysis that seems like a good one um, deflect. Alright, that's a bit better. 
Nice. Doing better now. Junk cards for dweebs. Wow, we're both- they're both gonna hit me. It discards a page with the lowest- alright, that's fine. We'll do that. And we're gonna do- we'll do lots of defense. Boosts next die. Alright, sounds good. We got some bleed, but that's fine. We're doing much better this time. In fact, we've almost killed one of them. Light is the yellow bar. Light is the thing up here. Librarian's face constantly shifts. Dice gain different amounts of power depending on the current face. Block dice gain one to two power. Deal. Okay, yeah, this is this is actually really good. We'll put it on them because they have some good deflecting dice right now. This is a good one. Yellow dots that you use. Oh yeah, oh, sorry, yeah, light is um, the energy. I forgot about that. So our friend here has almost staggered, that's not great, but we've almost killed the, um, the one that inflicts bleed. We should be able to kill them this time. Nice, they're dead. Our, our, our character is also almost dead. Let's, uh, let's double down on the one that's not dead yet. This is good. Nice. They're getting a few hits in before they die. Stagger them. They're they're very difficult to stagger. <laughs> nice. That's great, because now we uh, can hit them hard. So let's hit them as hard as we can. I guess stay calm will be the thing to do. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. Oh, no. <sighs> yeah, now they have a full bar. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to do that. I meant to press P, not space bar. We're still gonna win, but it's... <laughs> oh, my God. Uh... They're weak to what? Bash and pen, all right. So... Let's just give him one of these. And one of these. Should be good. Done. Victory! Suppression of the red shoes complete. Hello, hello. Got some fresh books for you. Hi, Loland. You're working hard as always? You tell me. If only our Miss Head Librarian could appreciate all this hard work with a huge reward or anything. Mimple needs to take that pumpkin off. He clearly can't see the keyboard. Oh no, I'm having a dream. There we go. <laughs> oh no. Uh, you, can, you can expect high quality uh, content on, on Bimple streams. How are you doing with Angela, by the way? Eh, so-so, I guess. She can be scary at times, but I can live with it. Angela seemed to be the most comfortable when she was talking with you. Really? To be fair, all the librarians I've met so far did seem to despise Angela. You told me before about your motto of that's that and this is this, right? I've been thinking and I don't think I can follow that. I'd have to loathe Angela with all my being, but I just can't get myself to bear any unconditional hatred towards her. Oh boy, that took a turn. I'm guessing it's because Angela has her fair share of tragic history and stuff. That's right, everyone has their own stories, even if someone is committing bad things right now. I don't want to judge them based on solely the snippets I see of them. So I try to understand them in depth. Man, you're an angel. I wish Yasad and Nessak were half as kind as you. Do I look like a good person to you, Loland? Uh, don't know about that. Kind and good aren't exactly one and the same. 
Is that so? I wasn't really a good person, you see. Oh, is this about your first and second lives? I remember Malkuth talking about them. I see. That's how Mal Malkuth put it. Yeah, you're right. My first life was a tragic one. That seems to be the case with everyone here. You were all doing research to cure humanity, right? So many people were killed because of me. Huh? You're admittedly pretty good at fighting as a librarian, but you don't smell like a serial killer or anything. Do I? I still think I'm directly responsible for their deaths. I snitched to the head about the experiments we were doing and about the atrocious things we were committing. They sent an arbiter to the laboratory and killed so many of my colleagues. When I heard the news, I couldn't take it anymore, so I took my own life. Jesus! What happened there? I had to watch as Malkuth, Yasud, and Netzek died horrible deaths in the laboratory. And what happened to a young boy who participated in the experiment? That's not all. We injected people with drugs and recorded the changes and side effects they made. Within the city? No, the laboratory was in the outskirts, to avoid the head and its eyes. Hmm. Now you can see that I'm not a good person at all, right? Nope, it's not that. I'm frowning because there's one thing about this story I don't understand. The head bothered to dispatch an arbiter just to take care of a research project that some people get, some people killed? One that took place in the outskirts outside the, of the city limits? This part doesn't make sense. Are you really sure it was an arbiter? That's what I heard. It matches what I learned in Lobotomy Corp during my second life, too. Hmm. It's still too hard for me to believe. You're pondering over odd things, Lolan. I thought you'd lambast me for being a traitor. You must put buff dudes' pages from Stray Dogs both on Hod and Malkuth. Should I be using Hod and Malkuth? I feel like I could just smooth brain this whole game and use Lowland. Team Team Lowland to, to kill everything. I'll do it if you would like me to do it. Ugh. Besides, real betrayals tend to be a whole lot more cruel. Are you from one of the nests, Hod? Yeah, I was born in a nest and went to a school in a nest. And the other librarians are cool? Or, sorry, are two? Most of them are. There's one from the back streets and one from the outskirts, but that's about it. Damn, you guys were all elites, huh? I gotta wonder how you ended up living such miser miserable lives. You all had the drive to leave behind the comfort of living in a nest for a research facility in the outskirts. That must have taken some determination. My bad for calling you a bunch of spineless snobs. We were full of passion too, which I ended up betraying. That means the reason you can't blindly hate Angela was mostly an excuse for yourself. I guess. I made a huge mistake once, but I want to be better now. I want to become a better person. I'm sure everyone wants to. At the same time, a part of my mind still can't forgive Angela. We've already spent two days on this stalemate. You're holding up much better than I expected. Of course we are. Of course we are. <laughs> Did you really think we'd go to sleep just because you told us to? However, it is only a matter of time. And time is what matters to you most right now. Our employees have sustained too much damage. The regenerators are at their limits, too. I put up with the play for such a long time, I could pass a day or two in an instant. But the last two days have felt so long and slow. Angela, your filthy deed born out of your own personal desire shall never be brought to fruition. <laughs> what is happening here? The circumstances are no longer the same as before, Gibura. Gibura. I'm now aware of the existence of ego and its capabilities. Uh, all employees from the welfare and disciplinary teams have fallen. You'll never get to spread the light of, for those seven days you all planned. Head three... Head is three corps, ABC, in charge of the city and its laws. They are not really interested in survival of its citizens, but in maintaining some sort of ecosystem. How he is wrong. Next chapter will show how much. I'd be left with only two or three days worth of light for myself. In any case, none of us will have won this battle. What is your point? I'd like to make a proposal. I want to live, you see. Angela offered us a deal, and many of the Sephirot were against it. Sephirot? Oh, that's what the librarians were called back in Lobotomy Corp. The nine librarians sleeping on each floor, you know? I see, yeah. The ones I met didn't seem too happy with this job. 
I guess that's what you, why you all hate Angela so much. Yes, me, Malkuth, Yesa, Netzak, and Hakma were the ones opposing her offer. That means the other four approved it. Angela wasn't completely alone, huh? To be fair, they weren't actively supporting it. It was more of a deferral. One sec. Why were you against her offer if you thought she could eventually become a better being? It's silly, I know. Even in the middle of that, I was thinking I could repent for my sins with death. Hold on, you, you what now? You were supposed to die at the end of the plan Angela ruined? Yep, the whole thing was meant to end with us shutting down, falling into an eternal slumber, knowing that our long-desired wish was fulfilled. Jeez, you were all ready to really accept a morbid fate like that. You're always surprised over the oddest details, Loland. I thought you'd blame me for running away from my problems, even at the end. Nah, that's a totally natural reaction in my opinion. I'm not a very strong or spirited person, so I guess why, I get why you'd do that. So in summary, you objected to Angela's offer at first because you wanted to forfeit your own life as the last step of your atonement, but now that you had some time to think things over, you're willing to give Angela a chance? Yeah, that's about right. It was a rather heavy topic for me, but you summed it up neatly. Well, things are bound to seem lighter from an outsider's perspective. <laughs> there is a character in called Netzak, yes. Netzak is the best character. Yeah. Thanks for listening anyways, it helped me sort through my thoughts too. You're welcome, miss. It's all part of my work. Floor of Literature Realization, level up. We got the, the ruby slippers, we got the axe-wielding maniac, and we have the bash-wielding maniac. Oh, and we, we can level up Netsack as well. There we go. We gotta do it. Um, let's just try and do it with their current card set. We're together forever. Besties always stick together. <laughs> so what are these, lads? Child of the Galaxy. Pebble. Restore 10% at the start of the scene. Does not activate if the current HP is 1. Don't leave me. HP does not go below 1. Becomes staggered upon taking lethal damage. After 2 scenes, recover HP equal to the current HP of another ally. If all allies have 1 HP at the start of the scene, die. Parting tears at the start of the... Okay. Alright. Glitter Obsession Axe. There's an entire town tower called Netsack. <laughs> uh, is uh, okay. We're we're good here. Um, is there something I should be paying attention to, like their certain weaknesses? Or do I just have to hope I get a little bit lucky here? Galaxy Glitter. This is a Pierce floor, so yeah, and Neville is not equipped. Neville is not equipped at all? Oh, did I not equip? Alright. It still looks like I'm doing okay, so I'll, I'll try it, but... Yeah, that's my bad. Staggered. So, am I right in thinking I have to get these guys down to one health both at the same time? Nice. They are weak to pierce all I can say. Okay. Yeah, it seems to me that he's at one health, and then he's going to recover as much health as the other um, ally. So I have to make sure that this guy takes as much damage as possible. Oh, we could actually kill them now. Yes! Amazing. Victory. Uh, that was, uh, that was actually really easy. RIP. 
Hey, did you know that art is inseparable from alcohol? Oh yeah, I heard that. They say art is all about flashes of inspiration, right? You know it. Maybe we're on the same page after all. Oh, you brought a different booze this time. Absinthe? This is the liquor with a legacy that's so deeply tied to art, it's almost legendary. Since I'm in charge of arts, I could use some sim stimulation to work like an, a real artist. Eh, this one's pretty strong, but it's charming nonetheless. I heard that absinthe basically just tastes like licorice. What if Angela scolds us like the last time, though? We can worry about that later. Works for me. By the way, just thought I'd mention there's no need to worry about curtsy and stuff with me. I'd say it's more comfortable for me to go with curtsy. Oh, sorry, courtesy. Alright then. Look at this glowing green liquor. It's just like the arts of the city. Limitations, imitations that are provocative but nothing else. Imitations of imitations, in fact. Though I don't see any point in being original either. I'm likely someone or something else's imitation too. As if stuff like originality or arts even matters in the city in the first place. So powerful. So handsome. All these self-proclaimed artists are nutcases. Uh, they seem to be mistaking any stimulation that's stronger than usual for art, just like how I'm praising this drink as a work of art. The pianist must have been one hell of a stimulant then. I heard that its music was a hair-raising masterpiece that awoke this grey city from its anyway. Well, the intensity was unprecedented, that's for sure. And some are still hung over from that performance, like they were slammed with a real strong booze. How about you? I must be one of them, I suppose. I never heard that kind of music before. I guess you've taken a liking to arts, seeing as you're talking about all this. True. If I could choose to live a different life, I might have been a painter or something. Painter, huh? I'd be able to quietly express all my emotions on the painting. Maybe I could have lived a humble life just like that. And how'd a modest man like yourself end up getting involved in something as grandiose as curing humanity? It really is a mystery. I'm not even sure I... I think I wanted to be of help to someone. Oh, a someone. Perhaps your first love? Was it love? Really? Even if it were, I, it wouldn't have worked out anyway. But I was still holding on to the hope that I could make something better. That if I let go of my life, I could bring a bigger hope to some other person. That's why I participated in the research. That's why I stood against Angela. Isn't it about time we ended this stalemate? Do I have all of the characters um, in this game that are available, or do we eventually get like Jibara and Tifereth and, and Hakma? Isn't it about time we ended this stalemate? Or at the dawn of the fourth day, if you are to drag on any further, I'll be left with no choice but to terminate all of you instantly. I'm with you on this one. We're never going to beat you at this rate. I didn't fight to spread only a meager half of the light. Roland really loves using tildes. So many of his stalemates are full of implication. Jabura, how could you agree with her? We might lose everything. I like how uh, Chesed has a cup of coffee. I'm with Angela too. Enoch's death deserves a better meaning than this half-baked light. I'm not willing to gamble with everything we've worked for. Say, Angela, if you if what you're saying is true, does that mean the employees who died in this place can come back as well? Indeed, you and your employees will wake up with brand new bodies. That doesn't erase all the pain we and the employees went through. And all our hard work, too. Even if this deal were to be put through, it will only delay the inevitable. These boxes are all patron librarians in this game except one. Betray? Don't be absurd. Have we ever once gathered around a table calmly discussing what we should do with this light? They look like Claptrap. They do a bit. We haven't. It'll all make sure to keep this promise, though. Though they do have a bit more, um, I have to say, expression than Claptrap. And in, in just in how they are betray um, portrayed. Both you and I require the light in its whole, albeit for different reasons. I could use up this residue of light left for me right now, but I'd be much prefer to have all of it. 
So I'd like to live more. I don't care if you want to die or not, I want to live my own life. And I'd like to learn more about the city and about this world I live in. Angela. Once we've reclaimed all of the light, you're free to lay judgment upon me when that time comes. Lolan drops hints all around his dialogue. Though I won't sit back, of course. That is all I have to offer. If no one else objects, I'll proceed with it right away. Or shall become a sentinel once more and watch her every action. It appears that we all have come to an agreement. Don't worry, I have no plans to let this be the end. Life will carry out to you once again, so take a nap until then. They're also much, much less obnoxious than Claptrap, yeah. I mean, it's easy to do. However, whoever says out loud they want to die is lying. They actually want to live more than anyone, so they express that urge in one way or another. On the other hand, when someone is genuinely willing to die, they end up disappearing silently. When Angela said she wanted to live, I felt something within me. That I wanted to live too. No one really wants to die, man. They all seem to regret it moments before death. Well, it's usually too late for them by the time they realize that. You seem well versed in that kind of stuff. You get to see all kinds of people when you work as a fixer. When I saw the desperation to live, I was reminded of the many employees who died right in front of my eyes back in Lobotomy Corp. Lobotomy Corp. It's ironic how we were trying to save humanity yet couldn't save the people right next to us. That's when I thought, if I could live more, what would I want to do? It's a good idea to think about your next move, yeah. How about you, Roland? Are you going to be back to being a fixer once you're free? Well, I'll have to think more on that. I still have a very long way to go. Let's give it our best shot. Here's to us. I can toast to that, alright. Here's to us. Nice. Galaxy Childs. Urban Plague. Scene 4. Urban Plague. He says I don't have a disease. Selma. Selma, dear, it's all thanks to me that you could keep your position as head of the Southern Branch, so maybe you should return some of that favor, no? I know, that was the deal. What do you want this time? I want your crew to take care of the things on this list. I think I might be able to locate it soon enough. These are all ridiculous requests. Well, though we have the right team for this. Let me guess, section two? Yes. See, I'm a very considerate person, Thelma. The library is on the list as well, now appointed as an urban plague by the Hana Association. That's the one I'm particularly interested in, actually. Roland? Yeah? Huh? If your est estimation is correct, we'll have to thoroughly prepare ourselves for guests from major syndicates and even wings from now on, right? That was the third most surprising thing to happen to me here. What nonsense are you going on about this time? You just called me Roland. Because that's your name. I mean, yeah, but you've never referred to me with my name before. My level of trust for you has increased, and I wanted to reinforce our amity. Amity. So I tried referring to you in a relatively more intimate terms. Is that a problem? Come on, that's a boring answer. He's a free-hanging fruit, living f life in full swing. It's been a while since anyone called me by my name. Still, the last time I heard that was from my family, I guess. Didn't you say that your grandma disappeared long ago? Oh, I had a wife, you see. That's intriguing. Huh? You're not intrigued by the fact that someone like me managed to get married, right? You're intrigued by the whole concept of this inefficient practice among humans known as marriage, right? Please tell me more about your marriage. Just as a heads up, it's an overall banal story with some sad moments, don't you think? Don't think you'll really like it. I'm always open for new stories of others, says the one who won't even tell me the story of her own life. Can't bring myself to recount that story ever again, I'm simply too sick of it. It's a boring and trifling story that looped over and over for 10 millennia. Imagine reading the same book for one million years, you'll surely grow to resent it. I'd have choked myself by the time around the fifth time I'd be forced to read a boring book. Well anyway, I used to work my ass off, I had nothing better to do. I wasn't a bad fit for fixer work, coming from a rough background and all. 
As I kept working like a busy bee, I got a house in a decent spot and met a so-called soulmate. She was a, such a tough woman, when I looked at her back, I felt the comfort of finding a place to belong to, something I couldn't feel, feel even when I brought my house. Trust, level up. I made so many attempts to try and catch her attention. Oh, am I dragging on too long? It's fine, please continue. I did get a bunch of opportunities to see her since since we were in the same industry. My wife was a pretty highly graded fixer, by the way. She was dependable for a reason. Anyway, countless ups and downs later, we tied the knot. I put it simply here. But the heartache I felt in those twists and turns was real, you know. Both of us had piled up a hefty amount of money from working like dogs, so we decided to quit being fixers for a while and spend a peaceful time together. This part is kind of corny, but happy is the only word to describe how I felt, really. I was alone my whole life and finally had someone to rely on. All we had to worry about was what to have for lunch, where to take a stroll in the evening, what to name our child and stuff. Then one day I got an urgent call from a friend asking me to do a request far away from home. You can probably guess where this is going by now. The job wasn't a huge deal, the pay was alright, so I decided to take it. The lady who lived with me said okay too. She's got Sauron's mace. I was dispatched to a district famous for Pajion. Pajion? Pajion? Which was my wife's favorite food. I could almost see her mouth water with the thought of eating it when she sent me off. To live up to my better half's expectations, I uh, purchased a stasis uh, preservation box from U Corp to present her with a warm Pajion that's straight from the kitchen. But a huge incident occurred in my home district while I was away. The house collapsed and my wife died along with our child she was pr still pregnant with. I cried for a long while, cursing this world and the city. I writhed and struggled trying to earn this happiness, so why does it have to slip out of my hands so easily? Alright, that's the end of my story. This kind of stuff can happen to anyone in the city. It's only a matter of endurance. And you could endure that trial? I'm trying to settle it on my own terms. What was the second most surprising thing for you, by the way? Oh? Working here suits me better than I thought, I guess. I'm saving this the biggest surprise for the last. It's no fun to spoil everything at once, is it? Fine, then. I'll leave you with sort sorting the rest of the books. C cry emoji. You can now transfer passive abilities. Whoa, really? You can slot the passive abilities of one key page to another. You can check the list of key pages that poses the um, possess the passive abilities of other key pages from attribution, known as enhanced pages, and see a list of key pages that are currently attributed to others. Uh, each passive ability has a cost, and key pages have a cost threshold, along with a max quantity that limits how many passive abilities can be equipped at the same time. Also, no more than one of the same passive ability can be equipped at once. <clears throat> okay. So, let's, let's do some of this. Uh, let's enhance some pages. Uh, currently using Mars page. Cost 0 of 6. What could we put on here? Uh, stagger damage against enemies with slower speed. Steed, speed dice slot plus 1 cannot overlap. Slash damage plus 2. Pierce damage negative 1. Uh, restore 1 light at the end of a scene if the character did not use any pages that scene. Uh, I don't like that one. Defensive dice power plus one, that sounds good. Can you make my librarian to show the suit they are wearing? Sure. Um, okay, so we got Walter's page and we have defensive dice power one, plus one, sounds good. Blunt stagger damage plus one. Um, sounds good. Pierce stagger damage plus one. And that's, that's it. So we've basically just powered up all of our uh, damage and also defense. It's a pretty smooth brain way of upgrading, but I don't mind. Confirm. 
Um, Imatan would like to have their dude look uh, a bit more like themselves. So let's do that. You wanted it to be like the, the page that they are wearing. So what page are, are you wearing? You're wearing Olga's page. You want to look like Olga. Okay. Done. The, we have some more of these to put on. Um, I don't know if we have others, other or better versions of these. While possessing the Heart of Aspirations Abnormality page, 5% uh, chance to boost attack damage by plus one. I don't like conditionals. Uh, void. I don't know what Void is wearing. Uh, I'm a tan. Let's also give you some passives. What kind of passives should we give you? At the end of each scene, restore one light and draw one page if hand is empty. I kind of just imp like improving the defensive dice, although I don't know what kind of stuff you have. You actually don't have any defensive dice, so it'd be better to just power up your, your main attacks. So let's give you be better blunt. Um, if three or few pages pages are in hand at the end of the scene, gain one strength. This sounds like a good one for you, actually, because I think you have very low cost cards. Recover three HP whenever the character discards a page. That's probably good for discard deck, huh? Um, slash dagger damage. Sounds good. Slash damage plus one. Sure. There we go. You do have um. A bit of slash. You have quite a bit of slash, actually. Good passives to discard decks in a time like these. Best choices, deep breaths. Best choice is a very robust healing option, even until end game. Uh, Walter's page is a very good one. Uh, what kind of um, what kind of cards do you does Void have? A lot of slash. A lot of, this is a very varied deck. Deal one damage to opponent upon winning a clash. Uh, that doesn't sound very good, actually. We'll just, uh, we'll, we'll increase the damage. Slash damage plus two, pierce damage negative one. No, I don't like that. Um, cover three HP. You said best choice is good. All right, we'll do we'll do a, a best choice. Uh, slash stagger damage, sure. On clash win, boost the max value of the next die by plus three at a twenty five percent chance. St slash stagger, we can't use that one. We've already got that. Fifty percent chance to inflict one burn on a successful attack. That sounds good. There's a lot of stuff in this game. Oh, have we already, no, we haven't used it. Do I already have that? How come I can't use it? I can't use these named ones. Uh, 50%, what? Oh, I've already, okay, so there's not just a cost, there's also a limit. Gotcha. All right, well, I'm, I'm content with what we've got. Let's, uh, let's hit up the next, wow, there's a lot of these, huh? Library grade must reach 20. Spacer's choice. You can turn Walter into discard for sure. Um, I'm gonna hit the washroom real quick. I'll see you guys in a, a second, like 20 seconds. Be right back.
Hey! How's the game so far, Simp Gang? Entertaining. Train, train drama this chapter. Uh... Which chapter is train drama? Do you know, like, location-wise? I just got an email, uh, hum the new Humble Monthly came out just now. There's some spooky stuff in there. Um, as well as... Deathloop, which I actually wouldn't mind playing. But I'm not gonna do that this month, probably. There's actually not a lot of spooky games in this Humble Monthly, I gotta say. I'm not really sure what's going on, but I'm along for the ride. I'm not really sure what's going on either, so you're in good company. Oh, oh no. Okay, so I have to fight Olga again. <laughs> uh, Alright, we gotta, we gotta fight Olga. Oh, did I burn Book of Walter as well? Alright. Where do I fight Walter? There? Okay. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> um, alright, how, how far back are we going here? I have to fight Julia and San. There's Julia and San. Okay, we gotta do this one. This wants us to fight Lulu and Mars. Okay. There's a... Where's, where's Lulu and Mars? There's Lulu. There's Mars. Okay, so... Um, did, I, did I mess up so badly that I now have to do like five battles just to catch up to where I was? Is that what I'm getting here? Oh yeah, I have to get Jack as well. <laughs> where, is, where is Jack? There's Jack. <laughs> uh, okay. Alright, this is what I'm gonna do. Uh, this is what I'm gonna do, guys. I'm gonna call it for Library of Ruina here. Alright. Hear me out. Um... But between this and the next week, I'm going to uh, mod the game so that I can g give myself those pages back. Because um, as it stands right now, I I've messed up so badly, I have to basically redo almost every single combat. We are replaying the game. <laughs> um, I'm sure there's a way, there's probably a, a, an edit I can do that will give me those pages back so I don't have to do all those combats again. If not, then I'll do it in my off time so that we don't have to redo all of those combats. Uh, my apologies, I didn't realize what I was doing. I didn't realize the... the uh... See, I, I think this is um, example A of why that mechanic shouldn't be a thing, if I'm being honest. I don't like that. I don't like that that's possible. <laughs> um, Alright, so... Th there it is. Uh, I'm sorry, I ruined it. That's what I do. I ruin things. Um, yeah. How, how are y'all doing? Are we good? Does chat hate me? <laughs> Chad, how much, on a scale of 1 to 10, how much do you hate me right now? 7? 